We are able to charge all our handheld electric equipment with one solar panel mounted on our box truck. In this video, I'll cover all the parts used to set up and the cost of each part. Please note, I completed this setup in March 2021, but I'm making this video in November 2022, so some of the prices have changed, which I'll highlight. Okay, let's start in the back of the box truck. As you can see, it's messy, so I'm going to simplify the view by using this overlay. The first item to cover is the solar panel, which is mounted on the roof. I purchased directly from Renogy a 175 watt, 12 volt, flexible, monocrystalline solar panel for $329.99. The same solar panel is now cheaper, costing $297.99. To install, I cleaned the area on the roof with rubbing alcohol, then I used Loctite construction adhesive, which I purchased from Lowe's for $12.48. Overall, very easy installation of the solar panel. Next, the blue line is a cable that came attached to the solar panel. I drilled a hole in the truck for the wire and I used, an, used another part, which I purchased from Renogy, known as a cable housing entry, which cost $14.99. I did have some trouble with the wires, so make sure when purchasing, you get the proper size. I was able to easily resolve by using spray foam, which I purchased from Lowe's for $6.98. Inside the truck, I needed an adapter so the, so the solar panel will connect with the battery. This is a cyan colored cable, which is the eight millimeter adapter cable, which I purchased from Amazon for $15.99. Lastly, this cable connects with the Jackery battery, which I have on a shelf. If you're not familiar with Jackery, I really love this device because it does everything in one small unit, which is portable. The Jackery 1000 has an input, which can be the solar panel, or you can plug it in at home to charge. It also has three AC outlets and several DC outlets for the car or USB ports. A couple important lessons to share about Jackery. First, I wanna point out when I purchased in early 2021, the largest Jackery was the 1000, but they now have a larger model, which may work for you. Also to mention, batteries like this are being made by other manufacturers, which may be a better value. Next, when I check the prices, it appears you must now purchase the Jackery 1000 with one solar panel. So the cheapest Jackery 1000 is currently $1,298. I was able to purchase just the battery for a little over $900. Unfortunately, the Jackery solar panels are not made to remain outdoors full time. Therefore, they would not have lasted on top of the truck year round, which is why I purchased the Renogy solar panel. Lastly, I wanted to share, I have a commercial electric mower from Greenworks, which the Jackery will not charge because it pulls too much energy. This is not an issue for me, but if you're planning to use a larger electric device outside of handheld batteries, I would recommend researching how much power is pulled to ensure the setup will work for you. So looking at costs, I was able to complete for $1,300, but today it would cost around $1,600 um, a little over to recreate. It's not cheap, but the convenience of having electric on the truck that can recharge my other batteries or take with me to use as a portable generator is priceless. I used this setup for two years with no issues, but I recently sold my box truck because it had engine issues. Fortunately, I was able to keep the Jackery. So thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and leave me a comment with any questions. Thanks a lot.